folks, welcome back to Repentance. I have the lost on my mind. Unfortunately, I can't plan getting the lost. I just either get it or I don't. <laughs> so what I want to do instead is focus on Mega Satan. If I happen to do the lost, yay. If I happen to not do the lost, that's fine as well. There are two characters that have not done Mega Satan in the regular Wheel of Children. That is Eve and Lazarus. We'll play with Lazarus today and we'll actually go down into Sheol at the same time. That way I can get all the unlocks there. With this character, I would love to get some way to drop my health so that I can become the transformed version of Lazarus. I think I just called that Super Lazarus. But either way, I just need Lazarus to lose all red hearts, so I would like to take the double deals. However, I need to beat Mega Satan. So the plan of action is to go ahead and do angel deals to get the key. Unless I find a sacrifice room, then I can go ahead and take double deals. Sacrifice rooms aren't the easiest to handle though, since you need a lot of hearts to take damage or the wafer to make the spikes on the ground deal half a heart instead of a full heart. Serpent's Kiss. I have gotten Serpent's Kiss on other runs. It was so late in the game it didn't actually matter. But the old version of Serpent's Kiss would give you a black heart if you kill an enemy that's poisoned. Once again, I am not sure if that is true. But simply having poison tears is nice. Sharp key would be cool, but it's not a priority for me. I haven't gotten the adult transformation before my character's face gets jacked up from all the items I pick up, but it does make you into like a like a bearded baby. <laughs> to start, your hair kind of grows out of control, which is always funny. And then from there, it's like full beard, long hair. You look a little bit crazy. All right, Plum, be good today. Wow, I managed to do enough hits to avoid multiple bounces. How dare you? This is cool. Let us keep going. I'm thinking about boss rush right now. Hey, there is a sacrifice room. No! <laughs> Don't hurt my friend. Hello? Thank you. Oof. Big ol' yikes. I lost damage, which is not the stat I ever want to lose. But I have higher tier right now? Sure.
I sincerely thought I was about to get hit by that tier. I'm having flashbacks to doing greedier runs. Greedier runs have shaken me to my core. Gulp. Nice. Oh, whoops. Pushed that a little too far. Because I have gulp pills, I would like to pick up some pretty good trinkets. Obviously, you always want pretty good trinkets, but in this case, I would like to get the cork. I forget what the full name of it, but there is a, a cork item uh, trinket. And what happens is it actually doubles the size of the creep that you create. Can be very good, especially for enemies that are on the ground, like half of Gemini. And then just increased size is always nice. It doesn't do more damage, but it does help. Also, I don't think I'm going to make it to boss rush with my current setup. All good. Not the end of the world. And I am not sure what other rooms are available. So let's just mess around a little bit. Ultimately, Mega Satan is very important. I firmly believe, if my memory holds, Mega Satan's unlock, when you beat it with every I guess regular character. I don't know if the tainted characters matter now, but I believe that Godhead is from Mega Satan. And Godhead as an unlock just makes every other run insanely good. Godhead is one of the most powerful tier effects in the game because it makes the tiers have an aura around them. That aura does damage. Oh, I I want the blue map. Thank you so much. Now I don't have to guess where the secrets are. Quality pickup there. I'm invested in the secrets, of course, because secrets mean that I can potentially find some cool secret room items like the skeleton key, blank card, the, I think it's called the clear rune, the one that duplicates rune effects. You can also find pyro in there, rock bottom, lots of stuff. And it looks like this is not going to be beneficial, so I'm going to move on. I also have head of the keeper. I don't mention this any much anymore, but when you get head of the keeper, there's a higher chance for you to get coins when you hit enemies with your tears. Very nice for getting more money. It's a very good pickup on the keeper since the keeper only has coin hearts. Hope I get this right. I'm bad at guessing when there's no reference point. Ooh. No bomb, but I do have a golden heart. This is going to break and give me lots of coins. Pow.
All right, Lassie, let's see what you can do inside of Dross. For Dross purposes, I would like three bombs at minimum. And yes, please give me coins. I need it for the shop. Alright, there's a secret rock up there. So now I want four bombs. Nancy bombs, that's good. Nancy bombs will give me a random bomb effect. That means there's a chance that I will pick up something like a golden bomb. Could also pick up something like the brimstone bomb. That's a really cool bomb to get. It's a four-way brimstone shot, but from your bomb instead, so it's not going to hurt you if you're not close to it. Uh, let's try to tower this room. Oof. I almost got hit. <laughs> but I didn't. Oh, look at that. That is Mom's box, and that is the ideal pickup because Bomb's Box can lead to a potential missing poster. Missing poster will lead to the lost. Oh yeah, I need to move away from the chests. Or I need to move away from bombs because that was just Bomber Boy and that could have hurt me. Whoa, whoa, okay, back up. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's magician this boss. Also, I do have creep, so if the boss wants to play games with me, that's fine, because you're going to step on some blood and get damaged. We do have the chariot card. We do have enough for mom's box. So let's go ahead and take that. Come on, good stuff. Wow. Okay, golden horseshoe. This has a chance to make item rooms doubled. I'll just gulp it. I shouldn't gulp freely because you could get some very powerful trinket effects. Uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but Mom's Box actually doubles trinket effects. So if there's a whatever effect on a trinket, it will be doubled. An example would be Perfection Trinket gives 10 luck. With Mom's Box, it gives 20 luck. It is a very good item, especially being from the shop only. Like, that's phenomenal. It also doubles things like Cancer. Cancer has a flat tier rate effect, but it does get doubled. Everything works the same way in that regard. Well, that's nerve wracking. Hey, look, another secret rock. Also, so glad I have creep. 
<laughs> Once again, Creep is helping me out so much. Fuse cutters, that is something I should have gulped. Fuse cutters makes troll bombs become regular bombs. So troll bombs no longer affect me until I get a new trinket. <laughs> or maybe I'll get another gulp pill. That's right, you can chase me if you want to. I appreciate it. Get to chasing. Crow heart. I can do something with crow heart, but I'd have to go all the way back and come back here to get fuse cutters. Yes, go inside of my creep. Sweet, got my damage back. Okay, I will show Crowheart. Uh, I'm not gonna make boss rush anyway. So I'm just gonna drop my stuff outside, that way I don't have to run all the way back. So what makes Crowheart very interesting and beneficial? Oh wait, I don't need to use Crowheart here. Crowheart makes you take damage to your red hearts instead of your protection. This is really helpful if you're trying to do things with Eve or other characters. However, there was no reason for me to take Crowheart because I was thinking about going inside of the bloody combat room. However, dropping all my red hearts would not do that because I still have two and a half soul hearts. <laughs> Whoops. Instead, we're just moving on. So in order for me to find the lost, I need the mom's box to give me the missing poster. And then I need a sacrifice room to appear. That is how we will get the lost. If you sacrifice yourself, there is a character that is missing and they are found through that process. Very interesting way of unlocking a character. But they are missing, get it? So if, if you're missing, you're lost. Also, we do have a double key room. It is adjacent to a secret, but I have more keys than bombs, so there's less incentive for me to <laughs> bomb my way into that room. Whoa, what a find. So that's a super battery, which will recharge the item to overcharge status, which is both of the charges being filled. Lovely. And then we have four regular batteries. So I have six uses of mom's box. After this room. That will make seven. Also, I can get inside the bloody combat room. Hooray. All right, first trinket. Cool, don't know what that does. Next trinket. Super magnet, no. Faded Polaroid, no. Locust, no. Extension of 
status effects. That's pretty good, especially with poison. There's the missing poster. Okay, part one is down. We have the missing poster. Now we need to find a sacrifice room. Second syringe. None of this really matters because if I turn into the Lost, I think I die. I don't think I revive as the Lost, but we'll see. Ideally, if I do revive as the Lost, I would appreciate not having defeated Mom's heart because you can still find a sacrifice room in Sheol or in the Cathedral. So in this scenario, I would not want to have beaten Mom's heart because I can get the clear on the Lost in my first air quote run with the character. Um, we're gonna bomb you just because. Sweet, and bomb you as well. If I had Fuse Cutters gulped, that would have been a free bomb for me. I am sad because of this. The question I need to ask myself is, should I keep using Mom's box even though I'm not picking up any of the other trinkets? Is that gulp? No. There's kind of no point to using Mom's box anymore. I have the thing that I want. I think I'll just take that item. So now what I can do is whip out an ax and knock out rocks and walls. So instead of using my bombs on stuff, I can just use this thing. Yeah. Be good. Filigree Feather's really good. Ooh, Dice Shard. Um, I'm cutting it close here. Okay. Oh boy. unfortunate <laughs> quad shot yes <laughs> more chances to get my coins to drop love that Thanks to those tier 8 pills, I'm, I have a pretty good tier 8 with quad shot. I like that. Again, please chase me and step into my creep. I didn't know the notched axe also had quad shot on it. Wow, and poison. So basically the notched axe makes you the forgotten, but with rock destroying powers.
Angel. Are you kidding me? Oh, y'all are rude. <laughs> you should have given me an angel. <laughs> wow. Does Notch Stacks work here? Oh, <laughs> now that's cool. All right. Please sacrifice room. Please sacrifice room. Please greed. Yes. Okay. Good start. That means my item room is preserved. Oh, I walked right into that one. I do not want to lose my deal with the angel here. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I should have went into this room knowing that the bottom door had opened. This is the bloody combat room. And I just chunked down my notched axe. Oh, it's not a bloody combat room. I thought it was. It's a regular combat room. You're evil. The door doesn't open right now because I don't have max hearts. Easy fix. Just find a red heart. Or a soul heart. Or a black heart. Gulp! Nice! Now the missing poster is part of my being. Ooh, this is fun. Every type of poop. Well, not every type of poop. There's another, there's a new type of poop in the game from, I don't know which character, but it makes the poop smile. And when you hit it, little poop friends come out. It's like Dirty Mind, but as an actual like effect in the maps themselves. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I wanna notch tax the skulls for a black heart, but I don't wanna lose the notched axe and miss out on something valuable like a secret rock. There's only a percent chance of getting something valuable from a skull, so I don't wanna waste too much there. I do have bombs. I can do that. There we go. Sanity has been returned. Also, nice. Spoonbender, that's a very good pickup. So now I have quad shot homing shots. If I can find some way to drop my shot speed, I will have a beastly setup. Unfortunately, the first thing that comes to mind is Sacred Heart, and Sacred Heart tears are automatically homing. Instead, I could take something like Eve's Mascara. I don't know all the items that dropped here, right? Uh, the... The... Something... I, I know the name of the item, but I don't know it because I'm not looking at it right now. Tear eight? Okay, that's fine. It is the... It's like the toxic shroom or something. Not toxic shock. But it's an item that makes your shot speed terrible, but it gives you piercing spectral tears. I can see the item in my head right now, but I have no idea what the name is. Either way, there are some items that I could use. Also, we have a long room. Interesting. What is a long room boss? It must be a double boss fight. Yep. The only time I've ever seen long boss fights that are not in the womb are 
when there's two bosses at the same time. Chaos card? Ooh, okay. The world is good. The world. Dice shard into Angel Room. Both of these are good, but there's no need for me to take them because I'm going a rather offensive start here. So I'm gonna D6 these two. Hopefully getting more powerful items. Okay. Well, I like Sensor. And then we'll take Chaos Card. Chaos Card is an instant delirium kill, which is amazing. What else does it do? It would instantly kill Mega Satan. It would, well, it would instantly kill one of Mega Satan's forms. It would instantly kill Hush. Obviously, can't get to Hush because of the time, unless I get Mama Mega. Yeah, having Chaos Card is so, 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 so good. I wonder if you could Chaos Card the Beast. Super Greed, very good. My shop is preserved for this entire run. Padlock makes bombs able to open up doors now. It's very interesting. Shouldn't have stood there, but I did. Jumper cables. The map. Both very good. So now I can see the entire map layout. I just can't see where the things are. So it's quite possible there is a sacrifice room somewhere. It's also quite possible there is a Seven Deadly Sin. There are a lot of potential things here. I will clear the entire floor just because I really want to find the uh, Sacrifice Room. We had a Sacrifice Room. I've gotten three Sacrifice Rooms in a run before. I just <laughs> don't know if they're going to bless me with it or not. And I know the unlock for the loss is so specific, but I really hope that they give it to me in this run. Please. strength card. Methinks I will not luck out with the uh, Sacrifice room on this floor. Okay, very cool. So poop is here, but poop of the duplex is way better. Maybe it's pupula duplex, like pupil. But anyway, poop of the duplex. I now have spectral tears, and the tears themselves are slightly bigger now. Oh, 
Open door. All right. Secret rock below me. You know what? I should have kept mom's box anyway, just because I could have found gulp and gulped a different trinket, and I would have found something like the silver dollar or the bloody crown. I would then be able to continue getting item rooms or shops in the womb. So I think it was not ideal for me to take something different not the end of the world but if I'm thinking about what I would do differently that's something I overlooked which is okay not the end of the world what do we have cool another bone heart Luck is always welcome. Oh yeah, we also need one more angel deal, please. I need to find some beggars that will increase my angel deal chance. So we need a coin beggar. We need a heart beggar that I will then just blow up. Or I think the... Battery Beggar is also viable. Hey look, Petrified Poop. Ooh, Wooden Cross. I even better. Wooden Cross is a one-time floor holy mantle. Who wants to give me a sacrifice room? Anyone? Baby Bender is cool. If I had Lilith and a bunch of tier followers, I would totally do it. Matriarch. Pretty tough boss. Every time I fought Matriarch, I've had a pretty good setup, but if the Matriarch goes long, you can run into a lot of different enemies from this boss. It is very tough. As you can see. And unfortunately, homing is making me not target the Matriarch, so... Oops. Not a devil deal. This is not good. I'm about to miss Mega Satan. And Guppy's tail would be ideal for the dark room. It's ideal for the chest as well, but I'm not going to the chest. 
please. Ooh, look at this very linear floor. Nice. Wow, I didn't know that was possible. Today I learned. I gained 0 0.01 tier rate. <laughs> Amazing. I am the strongest now. Fear me. Are you sure you don't want to give me a sacrifice room? I think that's only fair after all the work I did in this run. I wish I knew what, well, first of all, if it's possible to increase the likelihood of finding a sacrifice room, I wish I knew what it was. If that's not possible, then okay. My goodness gracious oh my goodness gracious is this happening is this happening I don't know if I hold on I, I need to drop some hearts I don't want to mess this up I don't remember how many I need to go but I know I need to go quite a few I'm just making sure I... Oh my gosh. That's Eucharist. Whoa. I am going to take the Crown of Light, though. Eucharist. Wow. So Eucharist just guarantees the deal. Everything. you, No matter what. It's a better go-ahead. Bible is good. Eden's soul. I think that's Eden's soul. That would be nice, but Crown of Light is damaged. Like, damage, damage. Oh, I need to keep these. <laughs> almost forgot. <laughs> In my hubris, I almost forgot about the, the, the key pieces. Okay, bomb myself again. I don't remember how many, but this is fine. Cool. All right. I just messed that up, didn't I? Oh, nice! We did it! We got the lost! I actually thought I needed to sacrifice myself on the spike so that I completely messed up there. But it's fine. We did it. We are the lost now. Hooray. Nothing else matters. I just now need to beat everything. Which I was going to do anyway, but now I have to play very cautiously because the lost works with no hearts. If you look in the top left, there are no hearts on this character. Gulp? Oh, I have the wooden cross. Look at that. So I'm actually gonna run back. Uh, if I'm understanding correctly, wooden cross is a one-time holy mantle. And the Lost naturally comes with the Holy Mantle. What I am not sure about is if the transformation into the Lost also gives you 
that? Or are you out of luck? Rotten Penny is a really good pickup though. So if the this transformation into the Lost does not have the Holy Mantle, the Wooden Cross is saving my life, basically. Anyway, I'm very excited. Very, very excited. And I have Sensor, which makes the tears much slower. You unlocked Zero? Who's that? <laughs> I'm so confused. What is it? It says Zero. Is I don't know what that means. Anyway, we beat Mom's heart, so there's my first post-it note already. I have the negative, so I can go down into Sheol. As long as I make it to Satan, great. That same thing, if I get down into the dark room, like I can make this a very good, air quote, first lost run. I'm not taking anything that's not a pill I already know. You don't want to mess with pills on the lost for a very good reason. And I'm judging, the boss room is probably at the bottom. Those enemies are not fun. Good thing I have homing and high damage. Okay, here we go. The second form of Satan is the one that I'm nervous about. A lot of tears coming, but I have sensor, it's okay. Good. Alright, nice, gotta dodge the feet and the spawns. Come on. <laughs> Alright, there's a second unlock. Here we go. Oh, I didn't mention the mind. Very good pickup. Okay. I didn't mention, but the loss can take a... Let me phrase this correctly here. The loss can take a devil item without any issue because the loss has no health. So all of these I will just take without problem. See? Boom. Whoa, Succubus. Very good. Athame, I haven't picked it up before, so yay. And am I conjoined? Okay, guess not. Succubus isn't a baby. Cool. So now we are going to <laughs> try to make our way through the dark room <laughs> without dying. I'm going to beeline to the boss, and then we'll do the rest. Uh, do the exploration if we can after. Thank you, Sensor. I'm so glad I got that item. And because I have the Rotten Penny, every time I touch coins from myself, I get flies. And flies are helpful. Look at this. I couldn't open up the secret room with the, <laughs> with the notched axe. Oh my gosh, I got the magic mushroom. <laughs> How is this happening? Magic mushroom is double damage and an all stat up. Wow. So basically, I just picked up with all my item combinations, the sacred heart. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, this is a good room. Please don't be cross bomb. Okay, good. So I can feed keys to this dude. And if he spits out a silver chest or a gold chest, that is a free item. This could be an item as well. Hopefully it's dead cat. 
dead cat would be ideal here since, uh, you know, one hit to death. Ooh, this is good. Keepum helps because if Keepum touches the keys instead of me, then it can spit out chests as well. This is fine. All right, can we beat the lamb without dying? Apparently, yes. Oh, I completely overlooked what happened. This happened in a previous run. I got Cricket's body and I have homing tears because when Cricket's body hits something, it splits into tears. Those tears also home, hone in on an enemy, which means, hello, you're about to wreck someone's face. I have faith that I can beat Mega Satan here. So instead of exploring, I'm just gonna go right in. So what I have to do is I must beat Mega Satan's first form and then I will Heart of the Cards, Chaos card, and take out Mega Satan. And then hopefully Delirium spawns. Get the coins. All right, heart of the cards. Go. Hiya. <laughs> oh, come on. We could do it. We could do it. I have faith. We could do this. I don't think I can beat Delirium, but I'm going to try. So we picked up the mind and the soul. The mind lets you have full mapping everything. It's all the mapping items in one. So you'll see all secret rooms, all parts of the map, all special indicators. It's a very good item. And then the soul kind of creates like a mini force field where if a tier gets close to you, you slowly push it away. It like kind of, it's like your body is aquaphobic. Like you're slightly ignore tears. Now, if, they're, if they have enough shot speed, they could definitely still hit you, but majority of the time, a tear is not going to hit you. I think it also gives a soul heart or two, but anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the avoided, avoiding damage. Ooh, my adrenaline is pumping. I'm very excited. Getting all these unlocks on an immediate character unlock is insanely good. The loss being one of the most difficult characters to play with. Probably the most difficult, but I who am I? We do have perfection now. Uh, perfection is a guaranteed item on the loss because the loss cannot take damage. So you're going to get perfection as you play through anyway. And it's the ideal trinket for the loss anyway, because more tier rate means, nope, more luck means more drops and more tier effects. Also, I need my key bum friend to take keys instead of me. Sorry about that. That is a mimic chest. A mimic chest is not the lost's friend. First boss is down. What I'm hoping to find is Book of Shadows.
Book of Shadows will give me enough of wiggle room where if I happen to mess up or if Delirium gets crazy, then I can get a little bit of a buffer. Uh, same thing, I would like to find the Alge's rune. The Alge's rune, I think, is enough time to win the entire fight. Burnt Penny, no thanks. Frail, you're done, buddy. Uh, this is a this is a dead item on the lost, but we'll take it. Blood Oath, of course, takes your red hearts away. This buddy has no hearts at all. This is, by the way, I'm going to all the rooms that are not Delirium. That item can kill the lost, so we're not going to take it. Number two, we don't want to drop bombs on ourselves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cutting it close. Okay, that was uh, not wise. Another trinket? What is it? Okay. The lighter. Randomly catch or set enemies on fire when you enter a room. That's cool. Not you again. Holy Light. Impeccable item. Very good damage boost. Also, if you are paying attention here, you'll see that pretty much every tier is Holy Light. I think all of them are because of my luck. The Flat File is a phenomenal item on the Lost since it gets rid of spikes altogether. Unfortunately, uh, don't want to do anything until I find a gulp pill. I'm not touching this. That could have hurt me. Good thing it didn't. Again, I'm running solely on the notion that the Lost has one, one Holy Mantle and not two. Also, when did I get Continuum? Or are my tears just flying across the room and coming back to me? I don't know. I definitely don't have uh, my reflection, so not sure what's going on there. Stars. I mean, I guess it's possible to find the Holy Mantle itself in one of these boss fights.
Okay. Please, please. Thank you. Back up, back up, back up, back up, please. Turn into the delirium face. Don't keep dashing at me. I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh. <laughs> I definitely could have just died. I'm still glowing, so I don't know, but we did it. Boom. Mega Satan and Delirium on the Lost Unlock. Baby! Let's go! <sighs> Holy card. Amazing. That is the unlock of unlocks. The holy card is a card item that gives you a holy mantle charge. So you could be with the lost holding a holy card. You get hit and you're in a boss fight, pop it, you get another holy mantle. Like it is a life saver. It is the item to get. I can't even, I wasn't even on my mind. I can't even believe I just did that. Whew, okay. So now, I need to do the chest with the lost, and that will clear out all of the main characters in the wheel. And then we'll just mess around from there. But I now need to do greedier mode with the lost, which <laughs> may take a while since, you know, ultra greed, two hits and you die. So we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more. I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.